As we proceed to give you what you need, make sure you stop by Raw Detroit. We're going to talk about some of the hottest prospects that are coming into the 2022 NFL Draft class. So without further ado, I got another one for you on today. My main man, Jalen Tolbert from South Alabama. So let's get right into it. All right. Jalen Tolbert is about six foot three, 195 pounds. And some, you know, one thing I just want to say, you know, and I want to put this on the record. You know, just because you didn't go to a small school, that doesn't mean that you can't go into the NFL and dominate. You know, a lot of these small school guys, they don't get the credibility as some of the uh, Power Five guys and some of the guys that come from big uh, universities such as Michigan, Alabama, uh, Clemson, Georgia, all of these type of schools. You know, that doesn't mean because these guys didn't play at those colleges that they can't go into the NFL and be successful, i.e. Jerry Rice, Terrell Owens, Randy Moss, Steve McNair. Some of these guys went to small schools, man, and when they get into the NFL, man, they got they play with a chip on their shoulder. Most of these guys have a chip on their shoulder because they probably feel like, yeah, they could have went to a Power 5 uh, school, but in other cases, they decided to go to a school that would give them an opportunity to play, and they made the most of it. And by them making the most of it, they was able to go into the NFL. All right, guys. So I got Jalen Tolbert here on today. We're going to go through his stats. His height is about six foot three, 195 pounds. Um, in 2018, as a freshman, he, uh, he played very, very sparingly. He didn't play that much. He had five receptions for 60 yards. His per catch was 12, uh, 12 yards a game. In 2019, as a sophomore, he ended up catching 27 uh, balls for 521 yards, and he averaged around 19.3 per catch, per catch. So you see that this kid has gotten better in his next season, and he also has six touchdowns as well. Now in 2020, uh, he really, really blossomed and, and really, really had a phenomenal season with the uh, South Alabama Jaguars. He had 64 receptions for 1,085 yards, and he averaged per catch about 17 per catch with eight touchdowns. Now, in this season, which would be his red shirt uh, junior year, which would ultimately bring make him a senior, um, he had 82 catches for 1,474 yards, and average catch was 18 with eight scores on the ground. This guy is a phenomenal athlete. Uh, it's so much, so many things I'd like about a kid like him. You know, one thing I can say too, he has accepted an invitation to the Senior Bowl, so he'll be able to put on his skill set and show the rest of the people that he can ball. Just because he came from a small school, that doesn't mean he can't come out with the big dogs and come off the porch and play with the big dogs. I definitely think that this kid uh, skill and ability to play at the next level is going to be monumental because one thing. You can't teach speed and you can't teach uh, size. You know, he has the size. He has the speed. Tober has great twitch and suddenness off the line. Um, he has great footwork. And one thing that I noted about this kid, too, he possesses a great deal of energy as a lateral mover. And he creates displacement with ease. Tober has strong explosiveness when he's, a run when he's on the runaway in the open field and he has terrific long speed for his size and with the ball in his hands he is able to make things happen and create he's very slippery and he's good after the run after the catch now i saw a game that he played against uh tennessee and he took like um uh, like a little five yard um slant to the house so this kid is more incapable of getting the job done um he outran the whole entire uh, team and scored on the touchdown so that just lets me know that this guy is go probably going to be really really good in the nfl as far as the uh, yards after the catch you know you always want to see what guys can do with the ball when they got the ball in their hand some guys just they just grab the ball tuck and fall down on the ground and then there's some guys that try to be explosive and make things happen and Tolliver is uh he's one of those type of guys that is going to try to make things happen 
You know, one thing that I saw also, man, he has great body control, very uh, acrobatic when it, when it comes to tracking the ball down in the air. Uh, he shields guys off. Um, when I was watching him, I was like, man, this kid is phenomenal, man. The dude will box you out to get the football in tight situations. And that's what you want to see. You know, you want to see a guy that's going to go out there and give it his all. And I definitely think that the Detroit Lions need to put this kid on the big board. You no, know, wherever the Detroit Lions decide to drive a res draft a, a receiver, um, definitely you can look this kid's way because he's a phenomenal athlete. He's not the fastest guy, but he's not slow either. So he's a guy that's going to get it done. And you don't have to be the fastest in the NFL. Jerry Rice wasn't the fastest. You don't have to be Tyreek Hill. Everybody can't be Tyreek Hill. Um, Tyreek Hill ha has phenomenal. He's a phenomenal athlete with great speed, but everyone can't be him. Um, you have those guys that are speedy. You got those guys that are uh, big play guys. You got those guys that uh, demand uh, a double team. And you want guys like that. But I think this guy is going to be a guy that's going to be a sleeper for most people. But at the same time, the Detroit Lions could take a look at this kid. And if he's uh, doing well at the Senior Bowl, you just never know. At the combines and things like that, all that stuff is included to where you're going to draft this kid. That He could be a day two guy or a day three guy that is taken in the NFL draft. But I definitely think that Jalen Talbert is a box office. I think that this kid has what it takes to play at the next level. And the Detroit Lions definitely need to make a point of interest. You can use that size. You can use his ability to be able to uh, just be twitchy and explosive and being able to get those yak yards. That's one thing that you want to be able to do. And the Detroit Lions just need so much talent at the wide receiver position that you can't just turn down anybody. You got to be willing to go out there and do what it takes to be able to get some talent on this roster. So definitely, man, the Detroit Lions need to make Jalen Tolbert a point of interest. This kid is a phenomenal athlete. This kid plays with a chip on his shoulder. And uh, I definitely think that he will be fine once he gets into the NFL because his uh, his speed, his size, his ability to make uh, plays after the, uh, the run and catch is just phenomenal. So definitely I can't wait to see what he's going to do at the Senior Bowl. But this has been Raw Detroit, keeping it raw, and I'll be back to you soon. Peace.